Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, let's talk about the sales receipt of Odoo 70. So you can find this sales receipt inside the accounting module of Odoo. So for this, you will have to first go to the configuration settings of uh, accounting module and from there enable the sales receipt. So under the customers tab, you will find this receipt. So receipt is basically something which you can uh, create once you confirm a sale order. Okay. So receipts can be created for confirmed sale orders and it's, um, it's to make sure that the products are received by the customers. Okay. So receipt creation and all is given in detail in this video. Go on and watch the video. Now let's configure the sales receipt inside the accounting module. So for that I'm opening accounting. Go to configuration and open settings. So here under settings you will have to search for receipts again. So we will be having two receipts, which is like the purchase and the sales one. We are going to enable the sales receipt right now. So here you have the sales receipt. Enable it and save it. Okay, so that is done. Now what you have to do is go back to the dashboard of accounting. Okay, it's loading. Yeah, here we have the dashboard. We have the main menu over here. So here what you have to do is go to customers. And under customers, as you can see, you have this receipt. Okay, so customers means it will be regarding or corresponding to the uh, sales. Okay, so here you have receipts, open that. And from here, you can create a new receipt. Okay, so click on new. And here I'm adding a customer, let it be Deco. And you will also have the invoice date. So I'm just manually adding one. And then you have the payment reference. Okay, so I'll simply add today's date. The payment reference can be given over here and also you, you have the payment terms, the journal and all. So for the invoice lines, I'm adding a product. Uh, let it be whiteboard pen. Okay. And uh, you can give the reference. That is if you have any purchase or sales receipt reference that can be provided over here. Okay. And here you have the journal items as well. So that's how you create one and I'm confirming it. Confirmation is done and once it's done, you can simply continue just by doing the payment. So I'm registering the payment and clicking on create. So the rate and all has come and currently, as we can say, it's in payment state. That ribbon has come, which shows in payment. So this is how you basically activate the receipt and, you know, confirm the payment. Also, how you create a receipt. Okay. So that's all about the sales receipt. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.